So if we come back here, we've installed Java. Now we need to do Ant. All right, let's move on to Ant. So if we click on this link right here, we get here, and let's follow these directions. So I tried the binary edition, it did not work for me. I don't know whether I messed something up or whatever, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go to the source edition. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this link right here to get me there. And as you can see, we're on the source distribution page. And then I'm gonna come down to right here, not source.zip, but for me, uh, source.tar. I don't know why I'm right clicking, but left click and save it. Let's go put it in. Uh, put it back, put it in that weird folder again. Okay. And it looks like it's done. Let's see where it put it. It put it in that Mozilla again. So I'm going to drop her into downloads because that's where I like stuff. And come back. So I've taken the liberty of taking all of these directions here and reducing them down into something a little bit more digestible, for me at least, because I like things easy. So I can get rid of this because that was just the downloads. Now what we need to do is this step right here. Copy. First of all, I'm going to do an LS and make sure it made it there. And it did. There's the Apache right there. So I'm going to highlight it, copy it, and then I need this statement right here, which is a pseudo tar. Pseudo tar. And they want just an XF. I kind of like a I kind of like a X V Z F. I like to see all the stuff go flying by. All right, so let's go ahead and paste. But let's put that. Tax C is means let's put that in user local. So let's unzip it to its own directory in user local, and there it goes. So in downloads, I should be able to do an LS and all I have is the GZs. Those are big files, so it might be a good time to just go ahead and pseudo remove anything that ends in GZ. And if I do an LS again, they're gone. So now let's CD over into, what did it want us? User local. And if we LS-L here, there's our Apache Ant folder right there. So now it wants us to link, I believe that's what LN is, copy. It wants us to link uh, this long folder name into a shorter folder name, I think, paste. Let's see what happens here. And let's do another LS. And there it is, there's that. And now, now we can just refer to it as ant. All right, so now we have to set up our, uh, now we have to set up our environment variables like we did earlier. Okay, so what I've done is I did a cd etc profile.d, and here there is an ant.sh. So now I want to sudo nano the ant.sh file, and it's empty. Okay, so we're going to grab this stuff right here and copy it and paste it and kill that second window. All right, and then we want to control O and save it and control X to get out of it. Now, if we want to make sure we did it right, we can cat it and there's the two things right there. Okay, so after all that work, if we go ant dot version or ant version, it still doesn't recognize it, which is fine because we're going to go to, we're going to CD to user. We're going to go over to user local ant. And we're going to set up the environment. So we're going to copy this one right here and paste. And grab the next one.
still not quite there yet. So now we're kind of on this step right here. We just did this step and now we're on the build step, which, which is this right here. Which in my notes is right here, although mine has the pseudo. Obviously a pseudo is necessary. Bump back here, pseudo that command, go to the end, and we need to get rid of all this nonsense and tell it where the stuff is. User slash local slash ant. All right, so now that line is sudo sh build sh. And it's doing a whole bunch of stuff. Which is good because it means it found Java, because it can't do this without Java. And we got to build successful. So now what happens? What happens if we go ant? Look at that. We've got Apache ant. Good stuff. All right. Now. Got Java. Got Java C. Got Ant. All right, now let's go get us some JMBE. 